Hi, everybody. My name is Morgan. I'm a TPM for the COPA project. And today I am joined by Sertaj. This is an episode that you do not want to miss as we will be going through our new open source tool. So can you tell me about COPA? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's start by uh, taking a look at how COPA Cynic works at the high level. Uh, first, we have a container image that we want to patch. Uh, we scan using an open source container scanner tool like Trivi from Aqua Security. And in, in the future, COPA can be extended with new, new report formats. COPA parses the vulnerable to report information. And then COPA processes the needed update packages using the applicable package manager tools such as APT, APK, YUM, and others. And finally, COPA applies the resulting update to the container image using BuildKit, creating a patch layer. Oh, cool. Uh, let's take a look at uh, an overview and benefits of, of COPA. Uh, COPA provides the ability to, to patch containers quickly without going upstream uh, for a full rebuild, which reduces the turnaround time and complexity. Uh, if you're relying on third-party images that you don't maintain, uh, their update cadences might not meet your SLA. COPA allows users other than image publishers that, uh, to also patch container images. And the image publishers don't need to create new workflows for container patching, since COPA supports patching uh, container images using the security update packages already being published today. And uh, COPA reduces the storage and transmission costs of redistributing patched images by only creating an additional uh, uh, patch layer instead of rebuilding the entire uh, image, which usually results in a different layer hashes that can break uh, layer caching. And last but not least, COPA provides the ability to patch distroless containers. Gotcha. So I see we're going through like the different benefits and all. Can you tell us about some of the limitations that we know about currently? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's a really good question. Uh, so today, uh, Windows containers are not supported. Uh, and then COPA can only patch OS vulnerabilities at this time. And uh, COPA uh, depends on uh, individual package managers like APT, APK, and others. Gotcha. Would we be able to go through a demo of how COPA works currently? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's take a look at a demo. Uh, so in this demo, we're going to uh, show a quick container patching scenario. Uh, so for our demo, uh, we're going to look at a real life example of a container image vulnerability scenario. Um, here in the screenshot, we have uh, Nginx uh, 1.18.0 container from Docker Hub. Uh, since this is a rather old image, it has a lot of vulnerabilities, including some critical ones like the DPKG one uh, that we are seeing on screen. Uh, and then let's take a look how COPA can help here. So let's start by uh, pulling our container images from Docker Hub. So in this case, we are pulling in Nginx 1.18.7 image. So now we have the uh, image in our local machine. So let's start by uh, using Trivi uh, to scan this container image and save it to a JSON file. So now we have the uh, JSON file saved locally in our machine. Let's uh, look at the total number of vulnerabilities using Trivi again. So we are going to, going to do the same command, uh, but we're just going to grab for uh, total number of vulnerabilities. Here we can see we have total of 240 vulnerabilities, and with 44 being uh, of, of them being critical. Uh, let's take a deeper look at the DPKG package that we mentioned earlier. So we are going to do a similar command but we're just gonna look at the DPKG specifically. Uh, here, uh, it is identified as a critical vulnerability uh, with uh, our container images containing 1.19.7, and it is fixed on 1.19.8. Let's verify that we indeed have 1.19.7. And as you can see, we run the container with, in D, with DPKG version, and uh, we got 1.19.7. Um, so for the COPA, uh, relies on BuildKit. So in this case, we're going to run it uh, BuildKit as a container locally, uh, but you can also run it natively without a container. So we're going to start the container, and um, let's verify if uh, this container is, is indeed running in our machine. Um, yep, and from the Docker uh, output, we can see that it is running. 
And uh, for the next step, we'll, we'll use the uh, COPA to patch the container image. Um, so we're going to uh, use the, uh, the JSON we sa file we saved from uh, Trivi earlier. And then we are going to create a new tag <coughs> that uh, is 1.18.0 dash patched. And as I mentioned, uh, COPA works with existing uh, package managers like EPT uh, to update packages. Uh, so this is going through the, the process of updating the packages. Um, so this is going to run through the packages and uh, update them. And here we are, we are done with the patching. Uh, COPA saves the, the, the uh, image locally. And it also validates that, hey, the, these packages are indeed, uh, did get updated. Um, and as you can see from the output, the PKG version 1.19.8 uh, meets requested version. So we should be good that it has got updated, but we're gonna double check. Uh, so let's start by checking if we do have the pa dash patched uh, container locally. And indeed, we can see that it is available. Uh, so let's scan it with 3V uh, again, uh, putting the total number of vulnerabilities. And we have zero now, um, down from 240 earlier. Let's verify that the, the container image still runs. And indeed, it is running. And let's exit out. Um, and for the next one, let's verify that it is indeed got updated with the, the DPAG binary version. So we're going to run the, the same command we ran earlier, but with the patched image. And as we can see, um, uh, it uh, did indeed get updated to 1.19.8. Back to you, Morgan. Cool. Well, I guess that concludes our demo for the day. As our viewers, we do have a couple of asks, that being to try out COPA. We are always trying to update and make it a better tool for everyone to use. So while you're using it, try to report any bugs that you can find and bring it to our attention. It is also open source. So if you're up to the challenge, you can try to contribute. Um, yeah, just keep up to date on what we've got going on. And we look forward to working with you. Make sure to also check out our resources in the description if you want to dig into more detail or rewatch our demo.